Hey, to play mods for Receiver, you buy it in Steam, and then you go to the library page of Receiver, and then you go to Workshop. And in the Workshop, you have a list of various mods. You can check out the most recent ones, for example. Industrial Tileset, a must-have. Let's get the Shotgun. Let's get the Nerf Gun and the Smith & Wesson 500. Yeah, that's good. Maybe a tape mod as well. When you start the game, you will notice that the mods are not there. But maybe for a split second you noticed in the top right corner that mods are being loaded. So what you have to do is go to Options, you press Escape, you go to Options, scroll down, make sure Enable Mods is on, and then you enable the kinds of mods you're interested in. You can also open the Show Mod UI, and here you can see the installed mods. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable uh, Gun Mods, Enabled, Modded Only and tile mods modded only and tape mods modded only which will mean that only modded mods, the ones that are not disabled here, will be used. And now you can either find a way to die technology to control physical things. Similarly, there is mind tech which is used to control to restart the game which will spawn you with mods the nerf gun for example in the mod industrial tile set and if we can find a tape Recently started receiving, you may want yeah, to you hear it's a modded tape. Important. Over the last several decades, your meat. And here we spawn with a different gun, for example, the Smith & Wesson 500. Yeah. What a funny sound. And let's say I wanted to spawn only with a shotgun without uninstalling the mod. I would go to show mod UI and disable everything but the Remington. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna keep industrial and voiceover. So if I, for example, in Hell Mods switch enabled instead of modded only, let's load apartments. This is also a way to restart. Now I have a shotgun. And as you can see, I have the standard tile set. Whoops, uh, let's try it again. And as you can see, I have the industrial tile set, but it's mixed with the standard tile set. And because the standard tile set con contains uh, many more tile S tiles, tile types, there will be more of the standard and less of the industrial. So that's how you get mods in Receiver 1 and use them in the game. And for some extra fun, you can go to Gun Range and check out the guns here. Just be aware that some of the gun mods are a bit more complicated. This shotgun, for example, requires you to pump it with R, but if it's empty you have to press F and only then you can load it manually with Z and then F to get back to aiming, but you cannot shoot, you have to pump it first with R and then after each shot you have to pump it with R manually and again F and then inject some more R, F, oh and if you drop one just press G to pick it up and also it has a safety with V Oh, safety off. Uh, pump, shoot, pump, shoot, pump, shoot, pump, shoot, pump, shoot, pump, shoot, pump. No more. Also, there's this Alex gun which has both semi and full auto modes. When I hold down the left mouse button, it can shoot one bullet while it is in. You can hardly see it. So you have to hold down T, R, and then V to switch between auto and semi. And when you load it, oops, you can hold down the left mouse button for full auto. Alright, full auto. Oh yeah. Useless but fun. So T R V. Alright, enjoy the mods. See you in the next video. Until then, ciao.